Hi, I'm Dave Epstein and welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. Today we're going to talk about problems in the vegetable garden. So here we are in front of my vegetable garden and I'm going to point out a few issues that we're having. I'm also going to give you the solutions, what I'm using. There are other possible solutions to some of these problems, but I'll tell you what I do here in my garden. So the first thing I want to show you are some of my cabbages and you can see there's a lot of holes in the cabbages and if I were sending these off to market I couldn't because no one's going to really buy these. Now I'll still eat these but what we're seeing here is some slug damage. We're also probably seeing a little bit of caterpillar damage. So let's talk about how to control each of those. So for the slugs you can use one of these products that have little pellets like this and these pellets can be scattered around your garden, around the plant. You want to follow the directions. And what happens is the slugs eat these and they stop actually eating your plants. It makes them so that they're not going to eat what's in your garden. So that's a good thing. These are a pelletized solution. So for caterpillars, I like using something with spinosad in it. And uh, we've got Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew here. There's other products out there which have the active ingredient spinosad. So spinosad is what you want to use, especially if you have things like cabbage moth, which I have, and the caterpillars, which probably putting some holes in those particular products. Remember, this will also kill good caterpillars, so you want to use it sparingly only where you need it and only when you need it. So I have some holes in some of the leaves of my turnips here. You can see some of these. Now this could be some beetle damage. It could also be a little bit of slug damage, although the holes are a little bit small for slug damage, so I think these are probably beetles. And another thing we like to use in the garden that's organic is neem oil. So N-E-E-M, you can use that. This is also a fungicide. So if you have beetles and things like that, neem oil can be a good control. So neem oil is a great product. The important thing is to keep on top of the insects if you are using it. So you know, potatoes and tomatoes are cousins of each other in the plant world. And if you look at this particular potato plant, you can see some spots on here. This is a blight that's occurring. So what do we do for blights? Well, behind the potatoes I've got my tomatoes and the leaves actually look quite good this year. I might have missed spraying some of this. What I'm using is something called Serenade. Also you can use a copper solution. Those two products, maybe alternating them, are really good at suppressing some of the blights that can occur on tomatoes and potatoes. So I haven't addressed all the issues you'd find in a vegetable garden, that's for sure. But slugs, beetles, caterpillars, and blights really do encompass a lot of the problems you might have. And the few products that I've shown you can treat a majority of the problems you'll encounter in your vegetable garden. You want to really check your vegetable garden every few days to see what's going on. If you wait a couple of weeks, things can get out of control. By checking every few days, seeing where you are, noticing the problems, and treating them quickly, your vegetable garden will look pretty good all season long. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.